some potential good news for the low income, which would also extend to fixed income beneficiaries of Social Security retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, spousal, SSI, VA, and RRB, as lawmakers are considering passing billions of dollars for you. Does that sound pretty good about right now? I totally agree with you. That sounds great, considering they've done a whole lot of nothing over the last few years as the cost of living continues to rise, rising prices and all things like this, making it more difficult financially for the vast majority of people, especially the low income and fixed income. They may be finally doing this. I want to share with you the details here in the video of what they're talking about and the billions of dollars they're considering adding to a big piece of legislation they're currently working on right now, which is well over a trillion dollars. Let's jump into it and talk through the details. First off, can I see a huge favor of you? Please make sure to like the video with the big thumbs up button right down below. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Again, with the big subscribe button down below the video. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. And let's talk through the details. All right. So as we speak, lawmakers yet again are working on the 2025 fiscal budget for the uh, federal government, right? This is something that they come forward with this time of year, every year, they always pass extensions on this thing and they kick this thing down the road forever it usually takes them a very long time to get this done but this is a massive piece of legislation they must do it every year basically reapprove a uh, well over a trillion dollars of basically money for the federal government to spend for the next year right well within this they also do a lot of other things which is any other provisions or small piece of legislation a lot of times they try to attach it to this this is not very uncommon at all we see this happen all the time so throughout the course of the year when we see other smaller pieces of legislation that come up and they don't do anything with it we're like what are you doing why didn't you pass it well a lot of times when we get to this time of year when they're trying to pass the full year budget for the following year a lot of times they add a bunch of these other smaller bills and provisions uh piece of legislation into the big one and just say let's just pass it as one big one okay a lot of times it works not always but a lot of times this is a great way for them to get a lot of their little pet projects and a lot of other little bills within the big one and just kind of combine it all together it's well over a trillion dollars and they're just like whatever let's just get it done right well this is typically something like i said takes a long time they usually have extension after extension so it could be a little while now but they are bringing this up again and it's a major talking point, not only one-sided though, it is both parties, both sides of the aisle, they're talking about this, and there are people out there that support this. It's good, okay? Now, I wanna give you the idea of uh, the details of what they're talking about here, and again, billions of dollars that'd be coming up with this, and pretty exciting stuff, okay? Now, I wanna make this very clear as well. We're not talking about like checks going out to people, thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, nothing like that, okay? But it is support financially in a different way. They want to bring back the very popular ACP, Affordability Connectivity Program. Let me share with you the details about this. So this was actually passed years ago, like, what was it? In 2021 or something? I, I don't remember exactly the piece of legislation, but it, it was years ago. It originally started out as emergency broadband. Do you remember this? It was offering $50 a month to pay for your internet. And then they passed uh, a new piece of legislation about a year or so after it originally went into effect. And then they changed the name and they lowered the dollar amount. So it went from the emergency broadband to the ACP, Affordability Connectivity Program, and it went down to $30 a month, right? Do you remember that? Were you around from the very beginning, right? When they had it as $50. But anyway, then the ACP continued from, I believe it was like late 2022 until just earlier in 2024. It was about in May or so of 2024 is when they completely ran out of money, right? Remember back in April, they were still paying out and then they cut benefits uh, in half for, the, for one more month and then they just literally ran out of money, okay? But this is billions of dollars and they want to bring this back permanently. They wanna bring it back. So again, this would be really good. Now, here's the thing. They found that when this program actually ended, they found that millions and millions, about 23 million households who are all low income, seniors, fixed income beneficiaries, people with disabilities. I mean, a lot of people that are really struggling, they found, hey, this was not a good thing. We really stiffed a lot of these low income households. Not a good thing, right? They ran out of a few billion dollars and now all of these people are basically either not having internet access because they can't pay their 20, 30, 40, $50 bill every month, or they've reduced it or whatever the situation is. It's just not, has not been a good situation for all of these households, 23 million households that were enrolled at the time. So they want to bring this back 
and add billions of dollars within this another or with this next uh, fiscal year budget. And it wouldn't be that much. A couple billion dollars is really all they need on an annualized basis to keep this thing going. So this would be really good. Okay. So remember the whole detail behind this, if they were to bring it back with the provisions that they had, however, I want to say this much, if they bring this back, they're likely going to make it a little bit tighter to get benefits. Okay. Let me explain what I mean by that. What they want to do is they want to tighten up the income threshold to allow somebody to be eligible. The original uh, the original threshold to let somebody be eligible for the ACP program was 200% of the federal poverty line on a household basis, okay? But they want to bring that down probably somewhere around the 130 to maybe 150% of the federal poverty line income. So that would actually make uh, quite a few higher income. I don't even want to say higher. It's not higher higher relative to the federal poverty line. That makes a little bit more sense, right? So they want to make it basically only focused on the lowest of the low income households who'd be eligible for this. Now, you might be wondering, okay, who would be included in this? Well, it depends. If they do 100% of the federal poverty line, right now, 100% of the federal poverty line for a household of one is $15,060. Federal poverty line for a household of two right now, 100%, is $20,440. So that's 100%. If they did 150% of the federal poverty line, a household of one would be $22,090. If my math is correct on that, I'm trying to add it up as I talk here, <laughs> $22,090 would be 150% of the federal poverty line as a household of one. And a household of two, 150% of the federal poverty line would be, what is that? $30,660. Okay. That's what it would be for a household of two. Again, I'm, run, I'm running the mental math as I talk here. Okay. So just, I could be off a couple dollars, but I think I'm pretty on. I think I'm pretty smack dab on with uh, my math here. Okay. My point is that is what they would want to do. Now, if you're a household of one, again, about 22 grand a year or less. If you're a household of two, again, 150% would be about 30,600, give or take a little bit. So if you're below those thresholds, if they were to lower it, to, lower it down to 150,000, or sorry, 150% of the federal poverty line, you would still be eligible. But there was talk also about potentially lowering it down to 130% of the federal poverty line. Now, I needed a couple more minutes to run the math. Honestly, um, it might take me a minute to do that mentally. I'm not going to do it here in this video because you don't want to sit here and try to watch me think. It's just going to be, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's <laughs> kind of embarrassing, uh, but you get my point here, okay? So we'll have to see what happens here, but it's very encouraging. I know a lot of you here in this community that were taking advantage of the ACP really, really enjoyed it. It was nice. Let's be real, right? It was really nice. They were paying up to $30 toward your internet bill every single month until they ran out of money. And then they're like, hey, sorry, <laughs> you're on your own now, right? That was not a fun time. I saw a lot of you here in the community who were like, great, this is cool. Yeah, I, I won't have internet access anymore. So that was really sad and unfortunate. And hopefully people didn't just completely drop off like that, but um, you know, kind of a sad situation. Now, another thing that also came in, because this was also interesting and I, I don't want to sit here and like give myself a pat on the back. I I'm not going to do that. But I did mention this months and months and months ago, as we saw the end of this program coming in, I came forward and I was like, you know what? These service providers can't afford to lose 23 million households worth of service. They just cannot do it, right? So I was saying that earlier in the year and I was just saying, just watch, I wouldn't be shocked one bit when this program is about to end, if the service providers step up and say, hey, we want to keep you around, we'll give you a deal. You know, let's do your internet at $19.99 or $9.99 or let's cut a deal somehow to keep these people around. Sure enough, right as this program was about to end, the service provider stepped out of nowhere like a bunch of termites coming out of the wood, right? And they're like, hey, yeah, we got some deals for low-income people. And they started offering $9.99 plans, $19.99 plans, $29.99 plans, all kinds of things like this. So it's good that they did this, but at the same time, it kind of takes lawmakers off the hook. Why? Because if lawmakers say, well, look, the service providers have stepped up and they are now eating the difference. Why should we have to do it as lawmakers? You see the difference here? So it's kind of nice that the service providers did step up and do this, but then also at the same time, it's also kind of like, well, <laughs> you kind of took the burden off the lawmaker now because now they don't have to do anything because they're basically saying, hey, low income are, are getting discounted plans now. We don't need to do anything, right? So it's kind of like this little bit of a give and take, like, well, it was helpful, but it's not. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's another option as well. Now, one more point that they are floating. This is another idea that they're floating. Remember, the ACP program for years, like, I don't know, two years, two or so years, give or take a little bit, they were offering $30 a month, okay, up to $30 a month. And then they reduced it in half down to, I think it was like $14 a month after that for the very last month. But my point is, they've also floated the idea, if they bring this back, capping it out at $9.99. I, I'm not really sure what 99 is going to do a month. I mean, let's just call it $10 because it's easier to say. What would $10 a month really do? Don't get me wrong. It's $10. That's like a box and a half of cereal, right? So <laughs> to take your pick. pick uh, pay for your internet or get a box and a half of cereal, right? Half eaten, sitting there in the grocery store aisle. You know, everybody that drives by with their cart just takes a handful. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> but you get my point here, right? $10 is not much, but they have floated this idea of saying, hey, if we bring it back, why don't we uh, reduce the eligibility as in the number of people that are eligible to get this and then let's cap it at $9, or, sorry, $10 a month. <sighs> okay, that's fine. I guess $10 is better than, you know, a kick in the, you know, somewhere. But it's... Um, I don't know, $10 a month. I mean, really, why even bother at that point, right? It's, it's almost kind of more like an insult, like, oh, we're gonna give you 10 bucks a month, right? And again, I don't wanna sit here and discount $10 a month, but that's really not gonna move the needle a whole lot for a lot of people. Maybe a little bit. I don't wanna act like I'm not grateful. We're certainly grateful, but it's just not gonna do that much, okay? The $30 a month was actually pretty nice. It was a kind of a sweet spot. There, a lot of people were having their full internet bills completely paid for, and some people that weren't, they were getting the bulk of it paid for. Maybe their internet bill was $50 and they were getting $30 paid for. That means they had to come out of pocket $20. Again, not bad, right? So there's a lot of different iterations here. We will have to continue watching this. Again, it's just one of these kind of uh, little provisions that they possibly want to add into this next uh, fiscal year budget. We'll have to see what happens here. I'll keep you posted on it, but it's maybe looking a little encouraging. It'd be nice if they brought this back and <laughs> it'd be kind of a political win right now if they were to do this. But that's also kind of one of the problems why they may not do it before November, if you know what I'm talking about, right? So, oh, all the games. I can't stand all the games. You know what I mean? Just do something already, right? Just, the games get really old. I think all of us probably agree with that. All right, so anyway, I'll keep you posted on this as I get more information. I'm going to continue watching it with everything else out there. Again, please like the video. Thumbs up button down below. Thanks so much. Really appreciate that. Otherwise, subscribe down below as well. Totally free to do so. Big subscribe button down below. Otherwise, check out the other videos here on the channel. 5,000 nearly videos in the video library. I've hand-selected some very popular videos for you down below in the description at the top of the comment section. Check those out. Otherwise, right now, showing up on your screen as well. You'll see some videos there. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Enjoy.